Oh, by the way, we are doing another Terraria multiplayer soon. I'm probably gonna. Do oh, yeah, we'll probably do a lot of those just because they're fun. I'll make them in separate play a separate playlist so they don't bog down the main section. But yeah, all right. <clears throat> November six, sixteen nineteen, high noon. The girl emerged from the swamp like an apparition, but when she said her name, I knew she was as real as you or I. She is Pocahontas. Okay, I lied about not making it. Okay, come on, you gotta admit, this is totally Pocahontas. There's John Smith, they're doing something with the Spanish, and there's a native girl who comes out of... Okay, it's stretched, but I don't know, it's just making me think Pocahontas. Imagine, Virgin Virginia Dare, first child of the colonies. If I brought her back to English, England with me, I'd surely be pardoned by the king. Oh, okay, never mind, she's not a native girl. That looks like a native girl to me, but, I mean, look how she's dressed. Doesn't she look like Native American or something? Anyway. But she will hear none of that. Her heart is fixated on rescuing her father, Joshim. She says Roanoke Colony was destroyed when she was still a child. That the swamp itself was driven bloodthirsty by some manner of Martian weapon. Okay, so it is Martian weaponry. I don't know why they didn't just figure that in the first place, but... Again, it's a bold hell. I should stop nitpicking the story. <laughs> Apparently, that weapon was wielded by the very same conquistador who attacks our settlement today. And even now, he holds her father in the most hellish prison. If I help rescue her father, she's pledged to return to England with me. It would seem our in interests are aligned, at least for now. Arr. Arrgh. Yeah, that was lame. Okay, so we'll do this level, and I think we'll call it quits, unless I'm just having too much fun. Yeah, it's about 16 minutes, so I'm guessing this will be uh, two video parts. Maybe three if I get carried away. So I'm going to go with the beam, just because I don't have any backup players. Alright. Chapter 3. Prisoner of the Sandland. Oh, Baldlands. Baldlands. Yar. Alright, this one is a lot easier than the last one, I think. Maybe it's just me, but I don't know. I mean, look at this, I'm not having any trouble- Okay, now I said I'm gonna die. Oh, wow, I totally called that. I didn't do that on purpose, by the way. You see, I never need to- I should never claim skill, otherwise I will die. Over and over and over. Yeah, dodge the bullets. Oh, yeah, take that. Finger stuff. Finger hot stuff. Look at that. I just blew you up. Oh, yeah. Oh, you want some more? Want some more? Yeah. Oh, that just looked. That was really cool. It's like. Did you see that? That was cool. This blew up like 20 of them in a row. They were like. Yeah, I think this level is a lot easier than the previous one. I don't know why they do that. It should be harder, you know? I mean... Eh. It's a good game. I like the game. I just don't understand why the second level is one of the hardest ones in the game. But, hey, it's an indie game. I guess it can't be perfect. It's definitely worth the money, though. If it was, like, 20 bucks, I would, I would be really complaining for some of the flaws it has. I mean... The first ship is the second best ship in the game, in my opinion. I think it should be, you know, there should be some sun incentive. I mean, you can use the money you get in this to unlock the first story mode where it makes fun of itself, but it's already pretty easy to make fun of this story. I don't need somebody else to do it for me. I mean, my making fun of it isn't all that funny, so I guess it might might be worth saving up 50,000 of its peacocks in this. I don't know, I just think they should add a bit more content to this game. Because to unlock this level, you have to go beat the other, the first two on hard. Then to unlock the one after this, you have to pretty much do the same thing, except on Legendary. And I don't know, it just feels like they were they were stretching a bit to add some replay value to this game. Which is good, but I think they could have done a bit better of a job. But, again, it's ten bucks. I really love this game. I'd recommend buying it if you have the money. 
mean, this has been on my wish list forever, and I was just kind of broke for a while. And then when I saw this was one of the games on sale, I was like, oh yeah! And I know I can just attack the main one, but I like getting the money points, you know? I don't know, I've already got everything I actually want to buy in this game, so I don't know why I do that. I mean, I can buy extra heart mode. I, I don't understand having to earn the ability to play on hard, but I guess it's free play value. Same Ooh, lots of cups. <laughs> I could buy like all the ships in the game with this money. November 8th, November sixth, sixteen nineteen, late afternoon. Joichim is alive, but only just. He emerged from the wreckage of that dread century. It seems it was his cage as well as his prison guard. Oh, by the way, I decided I was going to do one more because this game is just too much fun to put down. And as it stands now, I'd either have to do 10 minute part videos or one 15 minute, one 5 minute. So, yeah, I'll just go for about 10, 5, 10 more minutes. I hastened, <clears throat> I hastened to make good our escape back to the fort at Jamestown. News of this prison break won't take long to reach the Conquistador. I know I totally butchered that name, but still. To my surprise, Joshim is more interested in delivering that news to his tormentor personally. I, I wouldn't be surprised. I'd want to, you know, kill him myself, but... He insists on the suicidal mission to enter the heart of the most secret of the Spanish mines, New Madrid. He says that conquist the Conquistador's project there is more dangerous, and that all of Mars may hang in the balance. What can I do? I care less about Mars than I do about my own skin. And I can't very well kidnap him right after freeing him from prison. And so we continue eastward. I pray that we all return. R. Yes, this story is rated R. It's... I have to do some sort of obligatory pun. Alright, I'll show you what we can buy in the shop really quick. So, gauntlet mode. Throw down the gauntlet. Play all levels in the game in one go. Only 1,000 ducats. It's using the dollar sign, even let's call them ducats. And the gunner. John Smith's conveyance. Only $2,000 for the worst ship in the game. And the far story mode. A lighter take on the events that transpire. Turn it on from the options menu. Only $50,000 so that we can make fun of this for you. I don't know, I just... yeah. It's a good game, don't get me wrong, I just need to make fun of it. I love it, so I have to make fun of it. Alright. So I'll see if I can do this on... I had trouble doing this on difficult with a friend. But it was also really late at night. You know, for a second of games, I'm actually doing pretty good this time. I, I'm glad I will look epic on my Let's Play. Chapter 4. Secret Mines of New Madrid. Alright, so... I'm not going to comment on that imagery right there. You know what I was thinking. I mean, look at that. Look. These things remind me of candy dispensers. These little... Well, nothing popped out, but... You hit them enough and they, like, pop out these little... Twizzler twerp looking things. And you shoot the Twizzler twerps. They always make me want to eat candy. Alright, I'll show you this game. Twizzler twerp attack! Yeah! Oh, honestly, this whole place, there's just so much shiny and sparkly and candy looking things. And look at that, it's like a jawbreaker, rock candy. Maybe I just need to go eat something, I don't know. I'm seeing candy everywhere in this game. I guess it's also eye candy, the fact that the pixel art is. Oh, that was terrible. Again, I die. Okay. You see, I'm not all that good at this game. Now you can see it. I wasn't lying. I'm not pretending to suck at, think I suck at this game just to be funny or to evict pretty. I really am not that good. I'm just doing really well on this playthrough. I'm loving it. Maybe it's because I played it so many times through with friends that I'm just kind of getting the, the patterns down. I did used to be a really good gamer. Um, I'm 20 now. I pretty much stopped gaming f for three years when I was 17. And... I only recently got back into gaming. Minecraft and Terraria were the main factors. Oh, and also a game called Magica. I'm gonna do a let's play of that too. If you haven't heard of Magica, um, shame on you, I guess. It's 
It's a really good game. I bought it for a few of my... I bought it for a lot of my friends, actually. It's... Most of them, though, end up not having a very good internet connection, so we can't play the multiplayer, but... I've only played, like, two minutes of a really laggy multiplayer. Uh, it's fun as a single-player game, too. It's only ten bucks. I think... I would buy the game for... 30 or 40 bucks. It has that much content. It's got lots of DLC, you know. So if you beat all that, there's challenge missions, there's online play, there's like death modes, brawl, I think there's a capture the flag. And yeah, it's, it's a really cool game. I don't know why I'm talking about another game that I'm going to let's play in this, but I guess I kind of ran out of things to say about this one. So yeah, come here, you um, jawbreakers. I will face with my giant laser. I'm a fire in my laser! Wah! Yay for me and references. Yes, I have to. I have to explain my references. It's... I know that's really dumb, but... Eh. Well, maybe, maybe for some reason you don't know about one of the more popular memes on the interwebs and you won't get my joke. I guess it comes from not from having a lot of friends who aren't all that interwebby. Oh, this looks cool. Look at that. It's like... It's kind of superfluous, but I mean, the rest of them are, I mean, it looks kind of like a jet with Spitty Boss of Doom on the end. Oh, crap. I, I can only get hit one more time. I can't. And let's shoot him. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, crap! He's almost dead. He's almost dead. He's almost... Dang it! <laughs> Alright, I'm going to try one more time. And if I die, it's gonna be the end. If I live, it's gonna be the end. Right, so let's destroy these very questionable looking machines. I'm not gonna go into detail on why they're questionable. If not, ask, if you don't get it, just... I think it's time you have the birds and the bees talk with your parents, I don't know. I mean, look at those, what? They're just so distracting, if you don't... Uh. Anyway, back to candy. Yes, candy. Candy is good. Can be a friendly friend too. Yes. I will steal all your candy. Rawr. This thing makes me so hungry. I'm gonna have to go buy some candy one day because I'm having gummy worms, so maybe that's why I'm having gummy worm withdrawals and so. I'm seeing candy everywhere. Alright. Okay, I don't know what these are supposed to be, those things. These look like little minor pumpy things. If for some reason, well, I guess it makes sense. They have like built-in turret defenses or something. And this, I think, spreads. Die, Twizzler Trump Dispenser! You will give me all the milk that day! I'm like Willy Wonka's worst nightmares. <laughs> I'm, I'm invading a candy factory and destroying everything. Such a jerk. Oh, are you making things for the leafy children to enjoy? Oh yeah, no, 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 it's all mine. And I will destroy your children in the meanwhile. All your candy are belong to us. When all else fails, use a meme. Yeah, I'm gonna have to end this with I'm running out of things to say. Yeah, I think from now on I'm gonna try and stick with multiplayer let's plays just because I don't have to talk the entire time. And I guess I'm not all that entertaining when I die. It doesn't bug me just because I don't know, I don't really identify myself as a gamer anymore. Maybe I should try playing one of those really annoyingly hard platformers. Those things tick me off so much. Why do people make those? You know, like uh, Kaizo Mario World, the Really, okay, go look that up on YouTube. That thing is insane. And, you know, uh, I want to be the guy. Both really evil platformers. I, I, this will probably be fun to watch me play. I, I love platforming, but when I said I suck at uh, bullet hells, that's true. Compared to how much I suck at platforming, oh no, I'm an awful platformer. I always have been. I guess not always, but... I've never been all that good at them. Like, I've beaten one Mario game, and that's New Super Mario Bros. Wii, which is a lot easier than the older games. And I have one, zero credits left, but I do have one health left, so maybe I stand a chance. 
kill that. Jawbreaker. Yeah, this jawbreaker. See that skills? Ah! Oh, I never should brag about how good I'm doing. All right, um, I'm I'm hitting the half an hour mark. So yeah, this is Legacy Blade two 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 signing out. I hope you enjoyed watching it.